from this pile of job rejections to scoring $2400 per month data science internship in a US based international firm as a data scientist and the reason how i got into this is different from what you think it was 2 am and i was about to go to sleep and suddenly an email popped up congratulations you're in i was offered a international data science internship in us and whose salary was $600 per week and making up to 2 lakhs per month in inr and it was huge for me because i was fresher and got an internship in an international firm and 2 lakhs per month is not even given to the senior software engineers in google india and from then I've backed several international job offers from several companies out there and from Germany, UK, US and etc. So how did I secure this high paying internship in my initial days of my career? So what do most people do? They actually go to the company site and then go to the careers page, upload their resume and click on apply and they keep on doing this for 500, 600 people in a hope that they will get some reply from the company. What they usually get? They get a big rejection. But I choose a better, smarter strategy as compared to this. That is three step strategy. Let's talk about that. First and foremost step is to adopt a mentality that your valuable product and you're valuable to the company. You can help company in cutting down their time and revenue and you're actually valuable to what they're looking for. And that's the first step in any of the cases whenever you apply for a job. And that's something one of the important thing and adopting a mentality is not just about you thinking that I'm the best. It's about that valuing yourself with what you currently have and keep on upgrading as you go. But do you think that everyone tells this, right? So what's unique in this? So let's come to step number two. Step number two is choose your approach wisely. So what's the approach in this case? So I'll tell you an example that several people comes and tell me, that, hey Ayush, I've applied to so many companies out there in your career space from LinkedIn, etc. But I'm not getting the interview calls or they're not even getting any responses from those 500 companies with which they have applied for. I'll tell you the reason behind you're not getting this. You're sending a lot of generic resume to a lot of companies which don't even want to see. The ATS is resentful your application the reason why because that generic res resume is not tailored or is not even working upon what the company wants that's why you're getting rejected and you're sitting in a hope that you'll get a call that's not possible at all you're sending a lot of resumes you're sending a lot of generic resumes you're making a single resume you're taking that resume to apply to several companies and what happens at the end you get a big rejection company reject you do not even take a look at the application a machine takes a look at your application and rejects you instantly because that something is very generic resume which that company does not even requires and that's why you get rejected on the spot within some seconds and you think and you think that resume is good enough because so many people has told you confirmed you that your resume is good enough and then you'll be like okay fair enough i'll apply it from this resume and then think that they'll call me back that's not possible at all so currently this approach is known as shotgun approach where you take your particular resume and apply to hundreds of companies in a hope that you'll get one of them replaced so you need something a really targeted approach out here and that's how laser approach comes into the place so what's the laser approach? You spend X hours of your time customizing a particular resume. You take a look at the job description. You see that it's good enough. You customize your resume. You have the mini projects for them. You get the required letter of recommendation from maybe any of the peers who knows the guys from there. And then you cold email them or apply over there. At least your resume will be verified by the human, not a machine, right? So this increases the chance of getting hired. So I suggest is to follow the laser approach rather than shotgun because laser approach gives much more better results as compared to shotgun. But this is like very generic. Let's dig dive into all of this and then go to step number three. Get ready to attack. So what is this? Like now you might be asking, hey, you how to invest those X time of hours into building the projects or what exactly I have to do in that X amount of time for customizing my profile for that particular company. So let's talk about that. Decide which niche you want to go in. You want to do in NLP or you want to go in CV or, or you want to go in MLOps. Then so many fields which you can choose from and even foundational machine learning or data science. Any of them will work really, really fine. Once you have decided the niche, I suggest you to list out 10 companies in your Excel sheet. And those 10 companies, if you don't have any experience, consider those 10, 10 companies as maybe startups 
or maybe a little bit more big companies. However, I recommend funded startups if you're a fresher or if you're like experienced enough, I, you can have any companies out there. And in that Excel sheet, you can follow the template which we have given in the description that you have the company name, you have the, what the company does, and then the job description of that particular company which really enlighten you. So now once you have the, all the 10 companies which you really want to apply, now it's time to make the mini projects for them. So talking about learning, what if I told you that you could learn React development in just 100 days? If you want to learn React development live and hands-on, Odin School is here for you with its React Web Development Bootcamp. With the help of multiple exciting projects like shopping cart apps, music player apps, etc. along with the industry interaction and placement support. Build a rewarding career in web development with Odin School. This is going to be live instructor-led course with updated curriculum based on the industry requirements. So after three months when the course is completed, you will get a chance to get placed with their 500 plus hiring partners. And the job assistance can go up to two years with no limit on the interviews you can attend. Apart from that, you'll also have the resume building sessions, sessions for your mock sessions, sessions for your behavioral skills and much more. Link is in the description. Definitely check it out if you want to upgrade your career like these Orient School grads. The course fee is 50,000, but there's scholarship of 15,000. So the effective price is only 35,000, which is amazing for a live course. Also do keep in mind that a scholarship is only for 100 seats only. So go and apply for the bootcamp now. So coming back to resume tips and mini projects are tailored upon what they want and what they want to see in a particular candidate. So here's how you can actually build mini projects on what they want. Take the job description and paste it below this prompt, which we are showing on onto the screen and paste into the chat GPT. You will get a detailed sets of projects and a projects list based on what company wants to see. And you also have a column where it tells that how much percentage you stand if you completely do this project. And once you do this project, feel free to um, have the mini project attached in that Excel sheet out there. And you might be asking, hey Ayush, how can I do this project if, you, if I'm not aware about this? I have one prompt over here. You can paste this prompt and then you can develop an action plan for the for, for doing that particular project in a very much detailed way. It, it, it will tell you what things you need to learn prior to uh, start this project or to start learning about this particular project, right? So I suggest you to follow, follow this couple of steps. And you'll be easily able to uh, have your mini projects in your list for every companies out there. So how does this really help? What I used to do and what I asked my students to do is follow this step, you'll be having two benefits, which is the most important one. First, you build projects which really, really matters. You can take their project and apply it not only one company, but and their similar companies too. So you're building a personalized, tailored project for them. One of my students has secured over five interview calls in international funded startups with this just method. And second one, you learn while doing all of this project and increasing your portfolio based. So the actual doing unique set of projects with unique set of functionalities, unique set of ways to do that particular project, right? So this actually helps you to boost your learning and eventually helps you in your career. And remember one of the expert in AI and to whom I look up to, Andrej Karpathy, says that when you want to master a particular concept, try to learn about it. And remember what Andrej Karpathy says, that you take any of the projects, you learn what is required for that project, then what do you do? You summarize whatever you have learned and then document it. And then again, do this for X amount of hours you can do. So you'll be eventually becoming an expert in machine learning or a data science. Once you have a project, you have to showcase or present in a way. If this step is missed, I don't think you're going to even get even one interview calls from this stuff. So how can we present it, right? The only way to present is through resume or cold emails. So let's talk about a couple of them. The first thing which you have to fit and set in your mind that your resume is not only about you. It's an advertisement towards the HR about you and what benefits they will get when they will hire you for the particular position. Whenever you write anything, whenever you make your resume, remember the quote, don't write, show it. Show how you have improved for a particular company in terms of efficiency along with other things in, into the particular company. Show examples of how, what problems you have helped them to solve. Make your resume targeting to those job descriptions. Highlight those responsibilities which is listed in that particular job description, right? Highlight those one which is those roles which is listed in that job description so that whenever someone sees it, he's like, oh my God, this is something which I'm looking for and this is something which he has done before as well. Even if you haven't done this, make, be a very good diplomat in this. Be a very good writer in this to showcase in a way that you have done this, whatever listed out there in your previous jobs. 
whenever you're writing an experience section in your resume, focus on three things. So the first one is what objectives you're working on, right? What challenges you're working on. Second one, what steps and strategies which is unique enough you took in order to complete that objective or a challenge. And third, what was the result and outcome from their particular steps and strategies out there. And these three key elements of any experience section out there. At last but not the least, quantify your achievements. If you have done something, write in X amount, X percentage, quantify it as much as you can and show them as a result in that case. And if you want to see a real time example uh, and a resume template, I've linked a very nice ATS friendly resume, which I have personally built for my students, which is usually given in the course. I'm absolutely giving up for free. You can check it out in the description down box below. Now, once you have the winning and stunning resume, now it's a time to apply or cold email them. And for cold emailing, I've made a personal guide for you all, even for my students. So I'm just giving out for free. You can just go and check that out, which is again in the description. You can go and check that out, the cold emailing guide, which is really, really good with several examples and several elements which your cold email should have. So please go and check that out. I know this is very unconventional approach, but at the same time, it is very intimidating. You literally build mini projects for every company. What if, if they don't reply? You might be thinking about that. Think about it in a different way, a learning opportunity. If nothing is happening, do this thing. This is a game changer. Nobody is telling, nobody online is telling about this particular strategy. But Anton students are grabbing internships in Google and jobs in Google, Camping Mini, DRDO, like government organizations and a lot of companies out there using this strategy. We totally rely on this strategy because we believe it's not about you tell. And so it's about to show to the company that you're the right guy for that particular job description. I hope it makes sense. Let's meet in the next video.